This Golden Hawks update is powered by 519 Sports and Izio Financial Solutions. If you're ready to work with a professional who tells the truth about money in a way you can understand, it's time to meet with Pete. Go to izio.ca today. OUA Baseball from Bechtel Park. The Laureate Golden Hawks and the Windsor Lancers meeting for a doubleheader on Saturday. The Golden Hawks meeting the Lancers for the first time this season, looking to pick up a pair of wins. Starting for the Hawks on the mound today, Maximilian Zentel. Into the first inning, one out. Steven Whalen clips the pitch and the ball goes straight up. Jude Mallow tracks it in the sun and makes the catch for the out. Max Zentel would clean up the inning with a strikeout and the Hawks had to bat. Two on, two out, and a full count for Laurier. Boston Wakeman catches the hitter chasing, and we stay scoreless after one. Top of the second now, one out for Windsor. Tennyson Sagan grounds the ball out to first. Jack Larmer catches the runner at second, but Tennyson is called safe at first. The Hawks need another out, and it's Julian Russell delivering with a quick throw to first. Bottom of the inning now, and here's a good play from Boston Wakeman. Evan Burns is denied by the Lancers pitcher, and we would stay scoreless after two. Top of the third now, one on, two out, and a full count. Evan Burns makes no mistake on the ground ball, and the Hawks keep rolling. Bottom of the third now, Liam McTagg in at bat for Laurier. He's good for a single, and with another single from Jack Simmington, the Hawks have runners on first and third. Two out for the Hawks now on the ground ball is out at first, so the Lancers escape the inning. Bottom of the fourth now, more for the Lancers infield. Steven Whalen quick on the draw, ends the inning. Top of the fifth inning now, Tennyson Sagan is good for a single, and the Lancers get on base. Two outs and a runner on second and third. Justin Kelly boxes ground ball, is out at first, and the Hawks escape the inning. Both pitchers playing well, and how about this pitch from Wakeman? He retires the batter with a low strike, and the deadlock continues. Top of the sixth now, two out for Windsor. Here's Julian Russell with a slick catch, and we'd head to the bottom. Two on, two out for Laurier, and it's Evan Burns swinging for the fences. The fly ball is caught by Windsor, and the Lancers clean up the frame. Top of the seventh now, and it's heads up play from Maximilian Zentel. Zentel catches the runner on second, and with a fly ball catch from Davis Llewellyn, the Hawks head to the bottom with a chance for the walk-off. Bottom of the seventh now, 0-0. Ethan Lawhead on the mound for Windsor. He's come and collected with a pair of strikeouts, and this one would need extra innings. Top of the eighth now, Jordan Miller in at pitcher for Laurier, and it's a hot start for Miller. He roars out of the bullpen with a strikeout, and the Hawks love it. Later in the inning now, and watch for the runner on second. Justin Kelly boxes stealing third, and the pitch to third goes wide. It's Boxy stealing home, and the Lancers break the deadlock. The Hawks need to score to keep the game alive, and it's Liam McTagg with a bunt to get the runner to third. Liam is safe on first, and the Hawks have the score. Ashton Abel steps up to the plate for the first time today. He rips one in the right field. The ball hits the dirt, and it's a walk-off double for Ash Abels. It's clutch from the Golden Hawks in extra innings as they take game one over the Lancers. This one ending with a final score of 2-1. to one. The Hawks would go on to win game two as they complete the sweep on Saturday. First up out of the game, coming in a pinch hit situation, looking for my fastball and I got it. It's not been the start that we wanted, uh, but I think today is the marking point of where we begin to become the Laurier Golden Hawks and show the league what's up. Ah!